Hey guys, so today I'm here to do my June wrap up. Another really good reading month in June. It wasn't quite as good as last month, but it's still like the second best I've ever had after last month. I read 12 books. Yes, I read 12 books and one novella. And so let's get started. So the first book that I finished in June was City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Um, I started this in May, but it's huge. So I ended up finishing like in the first couple days of June. And I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it was probably my favorite of the series. I don't know. This one or City of Glass were probably my favorite. One was my favorite. I have too much to say about this since it's the last book in the series, but if you are interested in starting the Moral Instruments, or maybe you've started it and didn't like the first one, well, I can assure you they get better. So I would definitely recommend the series because it's just so good. And the Infernal Devices is even better, so I'm really excited now for the spin off series of this, which I think the first one comes out next year, so. That's exciting, and I will definitely be picking that one up. Oh, and I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, the reason I didn't give it 5 is because it's just, I don't like it as, I don't like the Mortal Instruments as much as the Infernal Devices, and since I gave all the Infernal Devices, I think, 5 stars, I just couldn't quite bring myself to rate this a full 5 stars. But nevertheless, I really enjoyed it. Okay, the next book that I read in June was Winger by Andrew Smith. I actually also started this in May. Um, I was kind of reading it between Save Heavenly Fire just to break it up because it's so long. I, I, I did enjoy this book. Um, I had a few problems with it. The humor really wasn't to my liking. If you don't mind some kind of crude humor, then you would probably like this book. But I did enjoy the characters for the most part, and that ending killed me. I, I saw it coming, but... Still, it was just, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I ended up giving this a, like, 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read in June was Hollowed by Cynthia Hand. This is the second book in the Unearthly trilogy, and this was definitely my favorite of the series. I really enjoyed Unearthly, but this one was really good. It had, like, so many plot twists. Like, I couldn't even believe how many times I would be like, oh yeah, I got it figured out, and then something would happen and it would just completely change everything. So yes, um, but I really, really enjoyed this book, and I ended up giving this a full 5 out of 5 stars. And if you don't know what this series is about, it's about angels, and I have never read an angel series, but I really enjoyed this one. The next book I read um, was Radiant by Cynthia Han. This is the 2.5 novella. Um, I don't normally read novellas, but I started reading Boundless, the third one, and then I realized that there were just some parts that I thought would, the novella would explain better. So. I don't think it's completely necessary, but I think it's a good, good read. It, it does tell you a few things that you need to know for the third one. Um, I didn't rate this because I just don't usually rate novellas. Next book that I read in June was Boundless by Cynthia Han. This is the third book in the Unearthly trilogy. Um, and I have to say this was probably my least favorite. I know a lot of people say this is their favorite, but there were parts that were just kind of slow. And I think also because the setting changed, it was in a different setting than the first two were. And I really enjoyed the setting. That was part of the reason I loved the first two so much. And the, this had less of that setting. So I think that may have been part of what I didn't like about it. But I still end up giving it a four out of five stars. And the next book that I read was Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. This is a historical fiction. It's about, it's set in Nazi Germany. And is about, it follows a girl named Gretchen who is Hitler's, like, she's not actually his niece, like it seems to imply in the synopsis, but she's like a very, her dad sacrificed himself to save Hitler at one point, so she's like a very dear person to him. So, um, and then she ends up falling in love with a Jewish reporter. And I thought that was just such a cool concept. Um, and I did enjoy this book for the most part. There were parts that were kind of slow. And I did really enjoy the romance, and it was really interesting to see Hitler, the, like, the Nazi side from the Nazi's perspective, because you don't really usually see that perspective. Like I said, there were a few slow parts, and so I wasn't completely blown away like I was expecting to be, And but I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5. Okay, the next book that I read was The Last Echo by Kimberly Durting. This is the third book in the Body Finder series. Um, I have to say, this one started out really slow. It took me a while to get into it. But once I did, it picked up and I really ended up enjoying it. 
Um, and if you don't know what this series is about, this is about a, um, a girl named Violet who is able to sense bodies of people who have been murdered. So, as you can imagine, she can help solve crimes and stuff. So it's kind of about her adventures, I guess I could say. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend the series. I still have to read the last one, so I don't know if I would completely recommend it yet because, you know, the last book could change everything. But yes, I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, and the next book that I read was Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. Um, this is the first book in the Grisha trilogy. And it's a fantasy book, and I don't read much fantasy at all, if you know me at all. I de generally don't enjoy it. I can, but it just, it really depends. I, I have to read a good fantasy to really enjoy it. But I did really enjoy this one. This is, it's set in like an alternate kind of Russia, and it's about this girl named Alina, who is like a soldier, I guess, and she discovers that she has some sort of power, and that she's part of the elite Grisha, with the, mag the magical elite. So they like, are with the king and stuff. They're like kind of second to the, like, the royalty. They're almost like royalty. I did really enjoy this book a lot, considering that it's a fantasy, and I can't read, wait to pick up the next two, because they're both out now. Yes, but I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, and the next book that I read was Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than The Lost Hero. I enjoyed seeing Percy again because he wasn't in the first one at all. And I liked the fact they went to Alaska. Now I suddenly really want to take a trip to Alaska. But I did enjoy this and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Okay, so the next book that I read was Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. This is the first book in the Sirena Legacy trilogy. It's about mermaids, and I've never read a mermaid book before, so I really was excited to pick this up. And I did really enjoy this a lot. I thought the world was really interesting. I liked the main characters a lot. A few parts for me that were just kind of slow, I guess. Yes, I did end up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars, and I can't wait to read the next two. I'm kind of hoping the second one will come up on Book Outlet, so I won't have to pay full price for it. And the next book that I read was Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This has been getting a lot of buzz lately on um, BookTube. This was a the Chicklets book of the month, so I read this for their live show and everything. And I really, really, really enjoyed this book a lot. It was just like the perfect summer read. It really got me. Now I'm in like a really contemporary mood. And so if you saw my book haul, or I don't know if my book haul is up yet. But anyway, if you saw that, if you see that, you notice I bought a lot of contemporary because I'm just really in a contemporary mood right now. Oh, and this book is about a girl named Emily whose best friend Sloane disappears, but Sloane leaves this list of things to do. It's on the back. It consists of steal something, hug a Jamie, kiss a stranger, etc, etc. And yes, it was really cool and she kind of finds, she meets new friends and stuff. But yes, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Next to last book that I read in June is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, this has been getting a ton of buzz, like a ton and ton of buzz. Some people like really love it and some people like really hate it. Um, but I feel like it's one of those books that you just kind of have to go into it blind. I'm not really going to tell you too much what it's about. The only thing I'm going to say is it's about this rich family who has a private island. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. It's very mysterious. And I think it's one of those books that you have to just go into it with, like, no expectations. Don't, like, expect to be completely, like, blown away. Because it's crazy. They, there's a big twist at the end. And it is crazy. I didn't see it coming. A lot of people did, but I didn't see it coming. So, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I didn't really connect with the characters that much. It was really well written. But yes, anyway, I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. And the last book that I read in June was Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. After finishing Since You've Been Gone, I had to read another Morgan Matson. And this one was just as good as Since You've Been Gone, I think. It was a different story. It's more sad. This one. It's about a girl named Taylor who her father is diagnosed with terminal cancer and she and her family go back to their old lake house to spend one last summer together and she kind of like reunites with some of her old friends who she kind of had a disagreement with the last time when they were there and yes it's it's really good it's really sad it made me cry um not many books make me cry I definitely would recommend this book and I gave it a five out of five stars okay, so that's all the books that I read in June I hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. Goodbye!